This is Dabu7. A big update here in regards to the border. Actually, a, a pretty big alert. We have Border Patrol agents now coming out, confessing once again because they're quitting, they can't stand what they're seeing, and they're watching their, their country get invaded. Real deal. They're stating that the UN is at our border and is calling the shots. This is something you do not want to see no matter what country you are. There is something huge going down at our border. For those of you just tuning in, we are being invaded by design. This has been orchestrated for a long time. We've done proven. They set the money up back in 2013. Billions to make this whole thing go down. I've covered the new South Southwest Key Programs Corporation that is getting all this federal money, money to house these people across the United States and all of these different regions, put out an updated map. We've seen military personnel, generals, John Kelly, Petraeus, all these people state that this is a huge setup at our border. We better watch out. The ex-Border Patrol Union, being some of the first people to blow this whole thing wide open with the statements they were giving, showed us in the beginning just how vast this whole orchestration was. Now we know that these people are coming through Mexico and they're being granted emergency assistance, being granted a visa for 72 hours to get to the U.S. border. And once these people get caught, they're letting them come right on across. The Rio Grande is the main area where these people are surging through at. And it's pulling all the troops to this one area and leaving huge holes in other areas. This is from the mouths of border patrol and in the end i've stated it before this is what they want they want a north american union as you can see right here it's in the playbooks it doesn't matter if every Mer american out there doesn't like it we'll have to fight to the end defending our constitution because in their eyes that constitution has to go these borders have to fall and we have to be one huge corporation They've stated that once this is done, we will become a powerhouse on the planet. Now, they can say this and say that, but people fought for the freedom and independence of this country, and you're watching it right in front of your very eyes get stripped away by, by design. What they're initially going to do is bring these people in, train them, give them everything they need like they're already doing, and they're going to be the chosen citizens that do everything that they say. Now I want to give a shout out to Dave Hodges and all of his work here because he had a chance encounter out here, you know, traveling, trying to meet people, a lot of time, you know, trying to get information, a lot of dead ends, and then sometimes you, you get some good information. He ran into some Border Patrol agents that spoke very heavily about their concern about what's taking place. Some of them absolutely sickened by what's going on at our border and what they're stating is that the UN is already here and that there's clear evidence that they are calling the shots on the border guys this is huge this is a huge red alert the who is also there the World Health Organization and other doctors are, are stating like Jane Orient they fear a pandemic invasion may soon follow because of what's taking place now, these agents are speaking out because they're, they're stating they have busted gang members with drugs, weapons, everything, and their supervisors have pulled up and told them to leave. And they're stating that ICE and DHS are protecting the Sinaloa cartel and letting them do dr drug operations across the border in return for snitching out other larger organizations. All of this is being exposed, and these border agents have been trained and kept in the dark about so much for so much of their lives, lives that now they're seeing it all, and they just, they're just they in disbelief. They cannot believe what's taking place, and they don't want to be on the wrong side of the war here when it breaks loose because it's what's going to happen. They're bringing in the enemy. It's not the children. It's not these people they're showing you in the mainstream media. It's everyone that's slipping in that they're not saying a word about. So, you know, how do these guys also know? The agents would go to these detention facilities and they would look in the sign-in sheets and it would be littered with UN representatives. 
signed in. Ah, they didn't think about that, did they? Nope. And these guys see it. They also, when they catch these people and they transport them to these places, they see that the UN and their personnel are the ones making the decisions on which immigrants to send to what location inside the United States. They're giving the command. And I'm going to tell you why and why they're going to get away with it. Because once they labeled these people refugees, they had a right to, to protect them militarily. I warned about it before. They tried to push it through the mainstream media, and I said, you cannot let the, them start labeling these people refugees. Well, now they're labeling these camps refugee camps. And they will be protected by U.N. soldiers if they're dubbed that. So it's, it's a big red alert, guys. Just wanted to put all the information out there so you guys can see where this is headed. And they're trying to trample our Constitution. And they're trying to set up a civil war here between the people. And it, it, this country was designed this way. To fall this way. They, it's the people in power that are doing this. No one else. It's not just happening. This is all by design. And now you know. The guys on the ground there are telling us. It's an orchestration. I'll leave links in the description box to keep you guys updated with more information as I get it. But boy, yeah, this is a red alert. The UN calling the shots at our U.S. border. Get ready, guys. This has been Tapu 7. Peace.